to the urgent push for a way to treat the most severe coronavirus patients. Tonight here, Diane Sawyer reporting. She has a first look inside one New York hospital where they're working on an experimental procedure using the antibodies from those who have already recovered, potentially in patients still fighting this. It's going to take time, but the country's top infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, has already indicated antibodies could be a key part of this fight. Here's Diane reporting tonight, and like so many, she's from home. It's an experimental treatment and possibly hope for those hospitalized by severe illness until better treatments or a vaccine are within reach. Am I right? The antibodies of a recovering person can actually save the life of someone who's critically ill? That is the uh, concept, uh, Diane. If you give the plasma, a portion of the blood that contains the antibodies from someone recovering from an illness, a viral illness like COVID-19 or Ebola, it may help the patient overcome the disease. And so our uh, plan is to infuse this into patients with moderate to severe illness uh, who are in our hospital. They are hoping to start with just one case this weekend. And that among the people on their list to donate blood are in effect super donors who may have particularly high levels of antibodies. They tell us one donor could end up helping more than one patient. We have developed a test here at Mount Sinai to look for immunity antibody responses to COVID-19. This is Professor Florian Kramer and his dedicated lab team. They've already done groundbreaking research and have been working nonstop. He sent ABC News this video in those small wells, the antibodies reacting. The more intense the yellow color, the more antibodies. Will some people in this country be super antibodies, super immunizers? Everyone who recovers from an illness like this will develop some degree of immunity. The nation's expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, also wants to see if this can work. It's one of our top priorities. Already, the hospital has received thousands of offers to donate, but they tell us every donor has to have a documented positive test and be at least 21 days from their first symptoms. I think that it's uh, beautiful if, uh, if uh, people who are recovering from the illness can, uh, in the spirit of donation and helping others, uh, that some of them will have that capacity by having very high levels of immunity. Among those who wrote in is 31-year-old lawyer Rich Berenberg. I had a very high fever. He recovered two, two weeks ago. Yes. And if I have you know, a resistance to it that can then be helped to somebody who's elderly or somebody who's sick, I would feel honored to do that in any way that I can. And late last night, he sent us a video of the moment he got news from the team at Mount Sinai. It says, you may be able to help. So David wanted to send the message that, of course, we don't know what the outcomes will be, but we do know that doctors and scientists at hospitals around the country are working on this. It's the place where hope meets hard science. And as soon as there are results, we'll be back in touch. All right, look forward to it, Diane. Thank you, Diane. We'll stay on this. As soon as we hear if it's working, we'll bring it to you. Thanks, Diane. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.